good to see you again. Thanks for checking the channel out. Really do appreciate it. By request, uh, we're going to do a little Black Crows, hard to handle. Um, easy tune as far as I think the chord structure goes. Uh, you know, you're playing, it's, it's a lot of bar chords, so if you got to be good with your bar chords, I think, to make it happen. But it's, you know, a, a, a B for the rhythm, an F sharp in there, and then you're, you're playing with a D and an E and an A. So, um, but really cool, make it your own. I'm going to kind of go over a few things in terms of how you can really change this up. Uh, you know, if you're playing just kind of solo acoustic, uh, I think it works really well. So, uh, again, if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell so when you're notified. Uh, a lot of things happening right now, uh, and you'll find out all about those things, you know, in, in due time. So, uh, but let's jump right into this one. Again, Black Crow's hard to handle. I think it's pretty straightforward. It's some, some bar chords, though, but we're going to give it a shot here and see what we can do, okay? Um, the way the riff, that opening riff, um, is, is pretty straightforward. We're going to come in on the, on the low E to the 7th fret, that B right there. From there, we're going to go to the A string on 5 and 7. Slide to the 9. So it's 7th fret on the E, 5th fret on the A, 7th fret on the A, to the 9. And then we're going to do a double pull-off from on the A string from 7 to 5. Back to that root B. All together. Play it again. And instead of going back to that final that 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 B note again, we're gonna go right into the into the riff. Or I should say the uh I guess the verse at that point. So I'm going to give you the option here on this one because there's several things you can do coming out of that riff. We can go right into the verse like everyone kind of knows how to do. But if you're doing it on solo acoustic guitar, you can kind of actually do that pre-chorus section right here. So if you want to give it a, you know, as an example. I'm doing there is which I'm going to show you anyway in a few minutes is that I'm going from a D to the E A E B so you've got to know those bar chords to do this so it's D E A E B or if you want you go right into the verse The other thing I would suggest, if you're doing this solo acoustic, you can give it a little bit of a bounce, I think, to this. It's, you know, where I, I think, if I remember correctly, the, you know, the actual LP version. What I'm doing there is, instead of playing the B like this, I'm kind of playing it as a, as, as, a, as a B5, basically. So I have my index finger on the B of the seventh fret. I'm taking my, for me, this is how I do it. I take my middle finger and I put it on the ninth fret of the A. That's a B right there. And then I use my pinky to go on and off the A, a string on the um, 11th fret. So, <clears throat> excuse me, just make that your own. Um, if you want to do it that way, or you can kind of give it, <coughs> excuse me, more of like a shuffle bounce type of feel. Um, so if you're going into the verse, you know, it'll start, you can start off like this. All right, so I leave that up to you how you want to get that rhythm going. But it is a B in the verse, which is going to move down here to the second fret, same bar chord shape, uh, to an F sharp. So you're only on that F sharp for a little bit of time, and you're gonna bring it back here to the B. After the, it's only during the first verse and going into that first chorus, you play that D. So altogether, if we did the, if we're coming out of that first verse, let's say. Again, 
pretty straightforward. It's just how you want to make it your own. You know, again, I, I think you should give it some balance if you're just doing it on acoustic guitar. Um, so again, the verse is going to be your B. You're going to move it to the F sharp. Back to that B. Pretty little thing. Let me not, right? Okay, so D, E, A, D, B. And it goes back into the verse. And the pattern continues. However, from that point forward, going in, if again, if you're playing with the album, going from the verse to the chorus, you are not playing that walk, walk up, I should say, you know, up to the D, to the E. It's only going to be... So it's pretty straightforward. So I mean, those are all the chords you need. You can make this your own. So I mean, that that you know, those are the bones of the song basically. So however you want to do it, I, I gave you a couple of ideas. Um, even uh, we know we just played this two weeks ago, first time I ever played it live, um, and we kind of played it a little more of a you know. I'm trying to think how I did it. It was something different. It wasn't the. Uh, I wasn't doing that, and I kind of was doing this. I was doing something along those lines. Of, Anyway, I, I, I kind of got creative, but again, and don't be afraid to kind of use the muting technique as far as, you know, muting the strings and and using, you know, just, just the pick and the muted strings as like a percussive instrument as well. So you're kind of doing it in between the chords. And if, and if that's kind of something you haven't done before, the easiest way to learn that, I think, just sit down with the guitar. Just cover the strings enough for you muting them. Not, not that, just enough for you muting them. And just, just kind of strum away. Or one, two, three, four, and two, and three. And just get the feel for that. I think you've got the whole song right there. I mean, at least for an acoustic stripped down version, solo guitar, you know, maybe one other person who's, you know, play guitar, one other person will play lead. But if you can play those chords, you can definitely add this to, uh, you know, your, your catalog. If, you, if you're building a set list for like a, an acoustic duo trio sort of thing, or just solo acoustic, um, I think it's really fun. Um, you know, so hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully, um, it made sense. Uh, I, I know sometimes I kind of just assume people know how to play a chord or, 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 or you know, again, just, you know, the percussive patterns. Email me, respond to this. Um, you know, I, I can certainly help you out further, but I think it's pretty straightforward as far as knowing your chords to B, B bar, F sharp, D, E, A, and that's really it. Those are your, your, your chords. So um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it was good. Good, good teaching this one. I think it's a, it's a cool song. I think it's a good song. I think it lends itself well to the acoustic guitar. So uh, enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.